Hey everyone, it's a great day in sports analytics. My name is Victor Holman, sports analytics expert, and welcome to the sports analytics three minute drill, where I break down sports analytic methods and explain how they're being used today in the world of sports. Today I'm gonna to discuss convolutional neural networks, specifically myth busting set pieces in soccer. Now remember, this method as, long, as well as other methods can be applied to the Apple Sports Analytics model and framework to optimize player scoring profiles and ensure that players are able to execute the coach's game plan and win games. Now remember, if you like this video, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my network. So let's begin. In deep learning, a convolutional neural network, CNN or ConNet, is a class of deep neural networks most commonly applied to analyzing visual imagery. Convolutional neural networks use a variation of multilayer perceptrons designed to require minimum pre-processing. They are also known as shift invariant or space invariant artificial neural networks based on their shared weights, architecture, and translation invariance characteristics. Myth-busting set pieces in soccer. In the English Premier League, the discrepancy between the larger market and smaller market teams grows consistently wider. One strategy that the small market team could use to help decrease the disparity is increasing the effectiveness of their team's set pieces. Set pieces in soccer are any play that begins with the ball at a standstill following a stoppage in play due to the ball going out of bounds or a foul call. Set pieces include free kicks and corner kicks. Free kicks are those kicks a team can take without their opponent interfering. Corner kicks happen when the ball goes out of bounds over the goal line without a goal being scored and the last player touching the ball is a member of the defending team. In this study, a convolutional neural network was used to study the effectiveness of the team's set pieces as well as their expected goal value. The network analyzed three seasons of English Premier League data consisting of tracking data of the players and ball, as well as labels for each event. The data set included over 12,000 corner kicks and 3,600 free kicks. A set piece grammar model was created to define the sequencing of events, both simple and complex. It looks at how the set piece begins, how it ends, and what events occur in between the two. Also analyzed is the effectiveness of the kick as well as the defending team's ability to defend against the kicks. The set piece must get past the first defender or it will never be successful. The way the ball is kicked also influences whether or not a shot or goal is made. The data indicates that while end swinging kicks have a lower chance of creating a shot, the chance of scoring actually doubles. The tactics of the defending team are also analyzed, specifically looking at whether they are playing a man-to-man -man or zone defense. It also looks at where the players of the defending team are positioned on the field. The model accurately predicts the type of defense that an opposing team will utilize in any given situation at a success rate of greater than 80%. Analysts are able to determine how closely the style of the opposition resembles other teams they have faced in the past. They are also able to determine the approach the opposing team typically take when defending against a corner kick. They can also look at whether a team is consistent in the playing style or if their play varies from game to game, depending on whom they are playing against. Coaches are able to use the resulting information to determine the defensive skills of their opponent and the likelihood of how they will defend against a set piece. Lastly, this can be used to develop a strategy to maximize the team's probability of scoring when facing these opponents. And that's convolutional neural networks in three minutes. Thanks for watching this video, and I hope you found it informative. If you'd like to learn about a groundbreaking approach for leveraging analytics to get players to execute team strategy, check out my Agile Sports Analytics framework, software, and mobile app.
If you'd like to know how your team or sports organization can leverage analytics across the seven key maturity areas and 26 best practices, check out my sports analytics maturity model and take the free comprehensive sports analytics maturity assessment. To learn more about this and 150 different sports analytic methods, purchase my book, Sports Analytics from A to Z, available on Amazon. And if you need help developing analytic models that create a competitive edge, contact me for a free consultation at www.agilesportsanalytics.com or call me at 888-861-8733.